And as we rescue our economy, I will also restore our borders. Over the past four years, you see what's been happening. It's carnage. It's carnage. It's a carnage. Kamala has orchestrated the most egregious betrayal that any leader in American history has ever inflicted on our people. What she's done. She's violated her oath and eradicated our sovereign border and unleashed an army of migrant gangs who are waging a campaign of violence and terror against the citizens of the United States of America. Kamala has imported criminal migrants from prisons and jails, from insane asylums and mental institutions, the most dangerous anywhere in the world and from all around the world, from Venezuela to Congo, the Congo and Africa, they're sending us, they're sending us large numbers of prisoners from the Congo and Africa. Congratulations, welcome to the United States. They're coming from the Middle East. They're coming from all over. They're coming from Europe. They're coming from Asia. And a lot are coming from South America, but not all. They're coming from all over the world. They're emptying their prisons into the United States. They're emptying their mental institutions into the United States. They're going to be empty very soon. And you know what's happened to their crime rates in places like Venezuela? Whoa, way down. They've taken their street gangs and they brought them into the United States. And they said, if you ever come back, you will die. We're going to kill you. That's what they tell them. So these are including savage criminals who assault, rape, and murder our women, our girls. What they do to our families is outrageous. And my people told me, please, please, don't say you're going to protect women. Women don't want you to say that. I said, really? Why? This is my geniuses. These are the people we pay all this money to to give you political advice. I said, why? Women don't want to be protected, sir. I said, really? I don't think so. They want to be attacked by MS-13. Is that what they want? They want MS-13 to go in and knock, in their, knock their door down and do bad things? No, I don't think so. I think so. I think women, I'm going to protect the women, I'm going to protect the children, and I'm going to protect the men. I'm going to protect everybody. From these animals that have been unleashed into our country and from foreign powers. Look, I mean, is there any woman in the audience, please, that does not seek protection? Please raise your hand. Is there any woman in the audience that wants to be protected? <laughs> I think so. Okay, let's fire those people, please. They're all fired. They meant well. Anyone who would let monsters kidnap and kill our children does not belong anywhere near the Oval Office, and she has set a record. And today, I want you to hear something that's very disturbing. Everybody, I just, just came out, just was done. Uh, everybody that's heard it, I've seen tough people, very tough men, literally crying watching it. We just put it out just, uh, just now. But I want you to hear it directly from a mother whose world has been shattered by the open borders insanity of Kamala Harris, please. Sunday night, I asked her to not stay up super late because of her coming to work with me in the morning for us to do her summer school. She said, okay. I told her good night and I love you. I went to bed, not realizing that that was going to be the last time I saw her. Hmm? We're best friends. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go shake it again. <laughs> I woke up to notice she wasn't in her bed. I'm in my heart trying not to lose my mind because I don't know where she is. I finally remembered her phone had a location on and her phone was pinging just two minutes down the road right behind the skate park. I start driving to the direction the phone was being pinged at and I see a couple cop cars with lights on. I see yellow tape and immediately my heart drops and sinks to the bottom of my stomach. My daughter's hands and ankles were both bound. She was strangled to death, with left with no pants. 
And I know in my heart, she fought incredibly hard. She was not going down without a fight. We begin with two men we're learning are charged with capital murder tonight, accused of killing a 12-year-old girl. Police say these men strangled her before dumping her into that creek. Both men were in the country illegally. Apprehended, then released by Border Patrol less than three weeks before Jocelyn's death. The men accused of killing Jocelyn Nungare are affiliated with the gang, known for brutal violence. Kamala Harris was in charge of immigration in our borders. If we had better border policies and not open borders and not these catch and release policies. I truly believe this all could have been prevented. Under her being vice president of this country, my daughter's life was ripped away from her. She had her entire life ahead of her. My daughter is six feet in the ground based off of policies that she allowed to keep. Kamala Harris did have one job, and she not only failed, not me, she failed my daughter, she failed Jocelyn. You know, she was only 12. President Trump reached out, gave me his sincerest condolences as not a former president, but just as a father, someone who cares. I believe Donald Trump needs to be back in office. I can at least know that my next child will be safe in this country. There's just no reason for it. Thank you very much. No reason. There's no reason for that. Thank you very much. But there's no reason for that. Open borders, open borders. Anybody comes in, doesn't matter where you come from. They don't even know where they come from. They don't check them. They don't know where they come Are they from jails? They don't know anything about them. They just let them pour into our country. It's, a, it's incredible. Now she's sort of stopped it by doing just a little bit because she was getting killed in the polls. And if they ever won, they would open those borders and you would have millions and millions more people come in and there'd be Criminals, if I ran one of the countries that we're talking about and last over the last few months, it was 181 different countries. Most people don't even know there are that many. There are actually more. 181 countries were represented and they're letting their criminals and their jails and everything into our country. They're destroying our country. They're destroying our country. And we can't take it any longer. We have to change. We have to change immediately. I think it's the biggest problem. I think it's bigger than the economy. I think it's bigger than inflation because they're ruining the fabric of our country. You're not going to be able to walk out of your house no matter where you live. If you're in a farm, they're flying people in with the big Boeing jets, the biggest ones, and they're taking hundreds of them in. They're landing in the Midwest and all over the place. They're flying them right over the border. They're sick. The day I take the oath of office, the migrant invasion ends and the restoration of our country begins. The savages charge with brutalizing and murdering precious Jocelyn are members of the same vicious Venezuelan prison gang, Tren de Aragua, that's taking over apartment complexes and unleashing a violent killing spree all over America. You've read about them in Colorado, Aurora, Colorado. They've taken over complexes. They've taken them away from landlords. They've told people to get out. They've told the people, you pay us the rent from now on. You don't pay it to a landlord. You don't pay it to a property owner. You pay it to us. They've even taken over Times Square. Take a look. Open borders, deadly consequences. Border crisis, record high crossings are putting a strain on cities across America. It is a full-blown invasion. Armed Venezuelan gang members storming an apartment complex in Aurora, Colorado. When people talk about migrant crime, this is what they're talking about. San Antonio, Texas, just one of the latest cities to have apartment complexes taken over. 
by members of the Venezuelan gang. Biden and Harris had created a program to bring them in under humanitarian parole. I am in favor of saying that we're not going to treat people who are undocumented across the border as criminals. More than 13,000 illegal immigrants convicted of murder have been released into the United States. My 20-year-old daughter, Kayla Hamilton, was murdered in her own room. Kayla's murderer was apprehended by Border Patrol crossing illegally into the U.S. Kayla's murderer had been improperly released into the United States. Abolish ICE. Yeah, we need to probably think about starting from scratch. More than a dozen people suspected of being Tren de Aragua gang members right here in San Antonio. The gang members had been terrorizing the apartment complex. New details in the murder of Lake and Riley. The illegal immigrant suspect who cops say committed the heinous murder is a Venezuelan national. It was paroled and released into the country by the Biden administration. If they'd all been properly vetted, that probably wouldn't have happened. Two men investigators say are in the country illegally from Venezuela are charged with capital murder and the death of Jocelyn Nungaray. Martinez and Angel wrapped his arms around it. Jocelyn's neck, took off her pants, and climbed on top of her. Later strangled Jocelyn to death and then tied up her hands and feet. Court documents suggest a group of men arrested for beating and robbing a Dallas woman last month are members of a Venezuelan street gang. The men threatened to cut off her fingers if she did not cooperate. Manuel Hernandez Hernandez was booked by Colleyville police just two days earlier and released the day before the robbery. A Peruvian gang leader who was wanted for 23 murders. He was arrested by Border Patrol near Roma, Texas, then released into America. This is what we have coming into our country. The United States is now an occupied country, but it will soon be an occupied country no longer. We will not let this happen. November 5th, 2024 will be Liberation Day in America. It will be Liberation Day. On day one, I will launch the largest deportation program in American history. I will rescue every city and town that's been invaded and conquered, and we will put these vicious and bloodthirsty criminals in jail or kick them the hell out of our country. And to expedite removals of Trend Day, Aragua, and MS-13, and all of these gangs that are now living happily in our country, I will invoke the Alien Enemies Act of 1798. Can you believe that? To target and dismantle every migrant criminal network operating on American soil. And if they come back into our country, it's an automatic 10 years in jail with no possibility of parole. And I'm hereby calling for the death penalty for any migrant that kills an American citizen or a law enforcement official. And I will immediately ban all sanctuary cities in the United States of America. With their open borders, they're going to destroy your Social Security and Medicare. They're going to destroy our health care. But I'm going to save it all, and I'm going to save our country. That's what we're going to do. These people are all signing up. Kamala's gross incompetence, she's a grossly incompetent person, disqualifies her from being President of the United States. Everyone knows it. No one respects her. No one trusts her. No one takes her seriously. To make her president would be to gamble with the lives of millions and millions of people. She would get us into World War III because she is too grossly incompetent to do the job. And then all of your sons and daughters will end up getting draft notice as I'll come. Mommy, Daddy, what does this mean? Son, even daughter, that means that you're going to be drafted to fight in a war against a country that you've never heard of. Congratulations, son. And it may be the last time you ever see them. We're not going to let that happen anymore in this country. Our enemies are laughing at her. If we win, America will be feared and respected again. On issue after issue, Kamala broke it, and I will fix it, and I'll fix it quickly. 
On top of it all, Kamala says she would not do one thing differently from Joe Biden, which in itself is disqualifying. Take a look. Would you have done something differently than President Biden during the past four years? Uh, there is not a thing that comes to mind. I stood there on the tarmac watching you check your watch. The chaotic and deadly U.S. evacuation from Afghanistan stunned Americans and the world and cost the lives of 13 U.S. soldiers. Would you have done something differently? There is not a thing that comes to mind. More than 13,000 illegal immigrants convicted of murder have been caught at the border and then released into the United States. An Afghan national is in custody today after being accused of plotting an election day terrorist attack. The suspect entered the U.S. on a special immigrant visa. Got wrenching new details in the murder of Georgia nursing student Lake and Riley. The illegal immigrant suspect, who cops say committed the heinous murder, is a Venezuelan national who crossed the unsecured southern border back in 2022. Two men investigators say are in the country illegally from Venezuela are charged with capital murder and the death of Jocelyn Nungaray. A fifth illegal immigrant accused of attacking two New York City police officers over the weekend showed no remorse or regret. Would you have done something differently? There is not a thing that comes to mind. Only 18% say the economy is in excellent or good condition. U.S. inflation has hit a new 40-year high, increasing by 9.1% over the financial year. Authorities say Train Day Aragua, which has been linked with more than 100 criminal investigations here in the U.S., has now been found operating its criminal enterprise in apartment complexes. Were you the last person in the room? Yes. There is not a thing that comes to mind. So maybe the worst thing that we could be talking about, 325,000 children that the, that the press never talks about. 325,000 children have come into our country and they're now missing. They're going to be dead or they're going to be sex slaves or slaves of some kind. 325,000 children, many of them are dead. And she said, there's not a thing that comes to mind. You know, they, they just like